Hey guys, we are Sock Yeti, a podcast dedicated to loads of nerdy things such as vinyl toys, video games, anything that you're embarrassed about in public, we talk about it. <laughs> the things that you don't tell your family or your girlfriend about, we cover all of it. All of it. That's right. And we are here again today with another exclusive Ex- Dunny... Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with another exclusive Dunny video for your enjoyment. Yeah. I don't know how exclusive it is, but this came out today. Yes, today, in fact. Yes. Today, today. Today, today. Like, not (laughs) yesterday, today. And we're going to try to release the video today, so it might even actually be on time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So this is the new piece by Marker27. It is the Serpent Dunny. And right over here, Evan has the the, the version that is the most... Pop, well, it's, it's not the, popular. It's called the standard. Yeah, the standard version. The common version, The one if that, you will. that is uh, touted as being the one. And then over here, I lucked into getting the chase. The one out of six um, big guys are, are this color. Now, for those of you that listen to the podcast, you might actually remember we were musing a few weeks ago about how cool it would be if Kid Robot did like blind box yeah. chase style in the eight inches. And then they ended up doing that for yes. this. Yes. So you, uh, you open the box, it comes in this little garbage bag type deal. You can't really see through it. And then open it, and then you get that one. So, I yeah. Mean, so you can't really cheat. You just got to luck into it. But luckily, we had a nice pull because, well, we both got one. So I mean, that's pretty decent odds. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've got one in six chance of pulling this. So yeah. Almost, almost a 50-50 chance for each of us to get one since we bought two. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about the guy? I think he's pretty sweet. Um, you know, he's based on the shape from this little dude from the Azteca 2 series. Uh, and on the original, uh, there's actually some definition on his speakers on his uh, little edges there. And his, his art is heavily focused on the actual speakers, which is kind of neat. Uh, this guy, um, he actually brings some of that back. He's got good definition on the speakers on these as well. He's actually a serpent but yes, god of sorts. He is, he is a serpent god. As you can see from, he's got fangs, he's got the tongue, he's got snake head, and he's got these really cool like snake scale patterns all around on his feet, and then back here on his ears and the back of his head, and there's really cool serpent art. You can see they kind of bring the speaker stuff back. Yeah, he has here speakers again. all over. He has one on his, on his rear end. On his tummy, end. you can rub it. What about the, this one? You what do you think? show that off to you these think, you fine think the, folks. You think the low bass end's coming out of there? <laughs> That's what I think. I think he makes Inception sounds yeah, out of here. Yeah, only Inception sounds come out of that one speaker. <laughs> so yeah, this dude is pretty rocking. So, I mean, you know, he sh- so he obviously has the shape in common here, but uh, art is heavily focused yeah. on the whole Serpent God Well, you thing. get more surface area. Yeah, and the art is really, I think it's really nice. It's got some good details. Yes. And overall, I'm pretty happy with I'm the piece. I'm very happy with the piece, how it came out. Um, th- this is the color alternate. We'll show some close-up video of this guy. Yeah. Uh, he's black with pink highlights, and then he has a, a white kind of uh, undertone uh, going down, and I'm super into that. Um, my only issue with this whole line, is you shown any at all? Uh, no, uh, mine's, mine's Here's solid. good. It seems that the more rare one, and this has happened to us in the past, mm-hmm. the Kid Robot's quality control has let it slip a little bit. Mostly on chases. Yeah, for some reason on weird. chases, which sucks more. Yeah. But if you look here on the back, I have a like a like a scratch screen and like some some ink up on the ear for no reason at all, and then uh, I have like a misaligned screen on the front. And it, it, this just like sucks. You know that you're getting you're paying a good amount, and then you get it's the rare one, money. and you're like, oh, who's gonna want to buy this if I ever choose to sell it because it's more rare? Because well, there's all these splotches that'll show up in pictures, and no one really wants that, and I'm not very happy about that. But I mean. Can't really do anything about it. No, and I, I mean, won't the fact trade remains, this in because it's the rare one. It's still really awesome. It's yeah. just a. It's kind of more just a, an annoyance. Just, just the a collectors, quibble. a collector's annoyance, really. Yeah, absolutely. And I've had the same thing happen. Like on the red version of this guy that I got for buying that full case of the, Azteca the shoes, the the red chase version of this, he's got some little weird scratches on the back of his yeah. head and, and some I mean, other this, this flaws. This is exactly how it came out of the package. Yep, didn't even move, and it was right there. This is like way before you dropped it on the pavement five so, times. Yes. <laughs> So, bummer on really. that. Everything else about it, I'm super happy about. I'm really excited to show it off. My collection. I need a new shelf. <laughs> I've filled up that one, and that's bad news. Yeah, and I mean, this is only the third 8-inch Dunny that I own, yeah. actually. So, so, you got room for more. I do, uh, but I think he's going to be a really good uh, addition to the solid foundation I'm setting up, and yeah. I'm pretty excited. So, overall, pretty happy with this guy. I um, mean... 
There's been some other ones that have come out recently we've tried to get our hands on, but typically with the 8-inchers, you really only want to go after the ones that you're super into. Yeah, because it is a lot more money than spending $10 on a blind box. So overall, uh, I don't know. I think uh, I'm pretty stoked on giving this. I I, I Personally, I'm I'm actually happy with giving this about 9 out of 10 glowing socks. Yeah, I would agree. I'm going to knock it down to 8 glowing socks. (laughs) Just for your damage. Just for my damage. But if this wasn't there, I would uh, be up there. Yeah, so uh, if this is available at your local toy shop, I uh, highly recommend you go out and pick it up, especially if you're into the Azteca series. Yes. Kid Robot. As Mark of, of the, 27 fan. Yep. As of this afternoon, was still available for sale online at Kid Robot's website. There were only 15 or 1,600. Yeah. Uh, a, fi- somewhere between 15 and 1,600 enough, of these made n- worldwide. So, yeah, I mean, there's enough Maybe to go around. Maybe a few months will be sold out. But, yeah, you, you know, I, I would get on it sooner rather than later if of you course. think you're interested. Yeah, and uh, if you're a fan of this video, make sure to check out other stuff that we have on YouTube. We only have a few other things, but our website is SockYeti.com. You can also yep. drop us email at uh, SockYeti at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at SockYeti, and um, that's about it. Yeah, tune in for the podcast and keep an eye out for more awesome videos from us. Yes, we will see you next time.